Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to use speed ramp. So let me bring in the clip. Okay, let's get rid of the audio. Uh, trim this shorter. Okay, so many of you will probably do something like freeze, reverse, speed up, slow down. Okay, like the normal way I would have done it would be like, for example, if I want this part to be freeze okay I will just cut here so let me bring this up say this part is where I want to freeze I will just duplicate and then I just right click change and then freeze and then this one So when you do a freeze frame, you know you it would just cut the frame in half, and I just delete this one, and then I just drag these. So this whole clip would be freeze, and I would just like maybe just stuck it in here. Oops, I would just stuck it in here. Then here's my freeze, right? And you'll probably do something like. Let me undo this. Maybe like reverse. So let's say I want this part right here. I cut it and then I want it to be right there. I cut it right there. So I duplicate this clip. Bring this over here. And then I'll change this to reverse. So what end up happening? So what should end up happening, it go forward and then reverse and then I should have this duplicate over here. So it should have forward, my bad, forward and then reverse and then forward again so this is the way of doing uh, reverse okay and of course let me clear that out okay now slow down and fast forward so for example um, I want this part this part to be slow so I, I cut it right so I just right click change speed and let's just say I slow down to 30% okay it will expand it for me right this pretty much slow down 30% and then for this one let's just say I want it to go uh, 300% Okay, then it was showing the clip. So from here, it's just gonna be slow. And then from here, it will go fast. Right? So that's the idea, what you could normally do um, if you don't have the speed ramp function. So let's get to the speed ramp that I'm talking about. So what I mean by speed ramp, so say you have this one clip right here and you could do all the freezing the speed uh, the the reverse 
all within that one segment or one clip you don't have to like cut and separate and then just to make it um, into what you wanted it so what you do is right click and instead you go to read time control okay and instead of speed you go read time control or control R okay now you have all these uh, little data here let's go to this middle button right here if you notice it look like a little triangle right here just click on to this and you bring down some option for you so the first one you add speed point so with this uh, clip let's go to the part that you want let's say why the sword go up okay you know the sword go up and let's add a point here okay that's what the point does it put a marker here so right now let's say I want to do something like a speed uh, no not speed a reverse okay you saw how I did all the cutting and everything so let's do a reverse on this uh, speed run control so let's go here add a marker and let's just say the sword come down here okay let's add a marker here okay so in order to do uh, a reverse you're gonna have to at least have uh, a marker in between to do a reverse okay so I pretty much want this part when the sword go up I want it to go reverse so that's why I place the marker here that way so I can just go down to this part right here and I select reverse okay so if you look right here you notice it indicate that this clip is now reverse okay so if I were to play this look slowly it go up right it go up I expect it to come down now this is on the reverse side it come down and then continue playing and then cut okay so you don't have to do any cutting and everything you can just simply just do it within the clip and if I want to expand the, the reverse let's just say to right here to where cut actually if you go back right here if you go back right here it go up and then it go down to this way okay so this is the same thing it reverse this way and then go back up I can extend a little farther all you have to just drag the bottom part let's just say to right here it's pretty much go and then go to right here and then continue on and cut so this part is pretty much just like this part right here so if I go back with this way see it's pretty much this part so if you expand it further it's gonna reverse further okay uh, keep that in mind so that's what the bottom part is is to um, extend to a certain part and the top part the top marker right here it controls the speed so if you notice right here this should be at a hundred percent if I extend it the reverse will slow down it took it's still in the same spot but it took longer time before it reached it but if you're showing the clip it'll be faster okay and then continue on and then cut you see so let's just say right now at this point I want to freeze this part right here so what you do now go to this part right here add another point okay now this is the part where I want to freeze so I go down here and I click on freeze it will create another clip here um, for instance let me show you it come and then freeze and then continue on okay make sense so then again if you want to freeze to go a little longer go ahead in the bottom and expand it Let's see. 
Actually, not the bottom. The top one. The top one is expanded. It doesn't change the speed. When you move the top, it just it just breathes a little longer, and then continue on. Okay. Now, now you can do slow down and speed up. All you have to do is just add another point. Say right here. This is where I want it to be. Uh, where the point to be at. Like I said, if you're not happy with where you wanted it, you could always adjust it at the with the bottom marker. And with the top marker, you can change the speed. Why right now it's at 100%. You can tell right here. You can also change the speed by just going down and change speed at any time. Let's just say I want to change to 50%. It will expand the clip for me. So I have enough room uh, to slow down, I guess. And... Uh, and this will be at 100 percent and i'll say i want this to be speed up to 200 percent the clip was shortened but uh let me uh let me put a marker really quick so that way you can see it so let's just say this one is 100 and this one is 200 percent and if I go any further, or let's just say 400, it should be even more shorter. You notice? Okay, let's keep at 200. Okay, this clip is at 50% speed. It takes a longer time before it reaches to a destination. So if you're not happy with the 50%, you can always change it. That's what the top marker is for. Say you want to go a little faster, so you just shorten the frame. Now it became 190%. And if you want to go a little slower, I just expand it. Now it's at 46%. So, yes. Pretty much we did all this within one clip. We can do reverse. Okay. We can do freeze frame. And we can do speed control, slow mo, and then uh, fast forward. All within uh, one clip. You don't have to do what I did earlier. You cut, and then you duplicate, and then you have to like move a little around, move around, and then you have to clip it. You know, so that's the the whole benefit of having uh, the the speed ramp right here that you can control everything within. You know one clip without having had to you know like i said duplicate it but of course uh if you have two different clip and you're doing two different type of effect uh, i don't think speed uh ramp will be the idea for it you know you're gonna have to do it manually you're cutting and slicing and duplicating again but if you're just gonna do everything within one clip so i guess this is what speed ramp is for okay so i hope this video helped and I see you guys next time.